Thank you for tuning into our seller interview series. Up today, we've got an Amazon Associates and AdSense business for sale in the general niche. Created in August of 2016, this business makes $3,454 per month in net profit, and the listing number for the site is 43878. We do this information about both the seller and the sites they're looking to purchase. We hope these insights are helpful for you in making a buying decision. We've got the seller with us today to go through the business and cover everything from niche selection to traffic and monetization. How are you doing today, Tom? Pretty good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing really well. Thank you. Uh, where are you calling in from today? Virginia, northern part of Virginia. Virginia. So uh, it was pretty easy with us both in the eastern time zone in the U.S. Yeah, man. It makes it <laughs> easier for everyone. <laughs> you know, it always is a little harder to coordinate when, you know, you're out of the country 12 hours apart or whatever it may be. But either way, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to get this done today. Thanks, man. So before we dive into the questions that I have for you today, I want to run through a quick summary of the business. Again, it was built in August of 2016, has a monthly revenue of $3,489, expenses of $35 to make for a net profit of $3,454, which is built on a nine-month average. Included in the sale of this business are the domain, site content and files, and AdSense account. Tom, can you tell us a little bit about your background in building and running online businesses? So I started about four years ago and built a few different websites, you know, and different things. Some of them worked out, some of them didn't, but I also had a full time managing a hotel here. So I didn't have too much time to mess around with it, you know, so I quit. And then about a year and a half ago, you know, I really wanted to crack down and focus all of my attention into building this this website. And so I quit my job. I had about 20 grand saved up and I just started traveling, going to Philippines and, you know, change minds, stuff like that, meeting people, other SEOs and just went all in on the business, man. And now we're here. And so how did you get the idea to start this specific business, like in the niche? I had a friend that was building websites, you know, and he kind of mentored me. So just from doing research on, you know, watching a lot of videos on YouTube, and I kind of had a passion for some of the uh, articles on the website, you know, it just, it's a general niche. There's nothing like really too specific or in depth in a particular niche. So it's just kind of random stuff, you know, that I enjoy writing about and built a solid website around it. And it's currently making $3,400 per month with only $35 in expenses. So why are you selling the business? Uh, so I'm buying the local business here, brick and mortar, and I'm going to use the money to kind of get it up and running. You know, it's an older place and just need some work. And that's my family specialty. So they're going to be helping me out with that as well. But other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. There's no other reason. So you want to sell this business to be able to get the capital and the time, you know, really be able to start this and take over this new business. Yeah, pretty much. I also have an FBA business on the side, you know, and that's taken off. So I want to have a little bit more time to focus on that. But just in general, just getting too busy to take care of this website and just keep growing it, you know, it has a lot of potential, but I just don't have the time for it anymore. Mm -hmm. The site was built in August of 2016. How long did it take to reach a steady profit level? Three months. And did that take a lot of effort? And how much effort does it take now to maintain where it's at? Uh, So pretty much... It started taking off when I had about 35 posts on there. And I just went really aggressive with good, high quality content that uh, I had a writer on Upwork write for me. And I just kept posting content, you know, doing proper SEO, making sure that everything is right and not half-assed, you know. And everything else just took off quickly. I mean, especially after Christmas kicked in, you know, that little extra boost in sales and traffic helped a lot, I think, in the growth. And after that, man, it just kept going up. And I mean, now... You can either put more content on there to continue growing the site, or you can just keep it as it is and just collect passive income. So with that said, how many hours per week would you say it'll really take someone to maintain the business as is and collect that passive income? I mean, even if they don't know what they're doing, in particular with SEO, my writer is amazing. He has a whole team and he pretty much does most of the work. You know, I just go in there and fix a few little minor details. But I mean, an hour or two a week and you should be good to go. And so you said you have a writer? Yeah, he's an amazing guy, man. Mm -hmm. I've been using him the whole time, so. What all does he handle? Uh, So all I have to do is just send him a topic, and I have a huge list of articles, you know, that I was going to get to but still haven't. And I'm willing to give that all that information with uh, the keyword research and stuff to the new buyer. But I send him the article. He goes out there, finds items on Amazon with the best reviews, you know, that customers are really satisfied. I don't want to bullshit the articles 
So he does really solid work. I mean, pretty much, to be honest with you, if the new owner doesn't even know SEO in general, he could post what the writer gives him and it will rank in about two, three weeks. And so to detail your specific roles with that one to two hours, you said, what exactly do you have to do? Uh, so I pretty much go in on, on a quarterly basis and just check, make sure that all the links are still working. You know, there's no broken links or anything like that. But my role, just checking traffic every day, you know, making sure there's nothing going on and checking earnings, you know, and just communicating with your writer if he has any questions or, you know, it's just different things that come out throughout the day. Not every day is the same, you know. Mm -hmm. How much content is on the site and how often is a new article or a, a new post added? There's currently almost 70 pieces of content. And when I was going very aggressive with the site, I was adding between five and 10 pieces of content every month. And Right now, I have only add about one piece of content every month. So, And how do you feel that switching to only one content per month has affected the growth? Um, I don't think it's affecting it at all. I mean, then again, the more content you put up, you know, the faster your website is going to grow, the traffic, the income and earnings and stuff like that. So it just depends what you want to do. Do you want to continue growing the website, you know, or do you want to just keep it as it is now? Speaking of growing the business even more... Are there any big opportunities for growth that you see available for a new owner to come in and really grow this business even more? Yeah, for sure, man. Um, I kind of regret not doing it now, but building an email list will be huge because that's what we're applying on our FBA business. And I'm actually astonished at the results that we're getting. You know, it's just insane. But building an email list with the amount of traffic gets every month, I mean, I'm sure it can go up really quick and will help uh, increase the earnings. Also, I currently do not have any PBNs, you know, on uh, my website, but if you want to be really, really aggressive and grow on the website and you know what you're doing, that's another opportunity. But I mean, other than that, man, it's, it just depends. Like I said, you know, if you want to keep the site as it is or continue growing it, there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, also building a social following helps a lot with Facebook these days. You know, there's so many ads on there. <laughs> is there a reason why you haven't taken advantage of social media marketing yet? Man, to be honest with you, I couldn't tell you. I think I just got too busy and growing the website, you know, and I didn't I didn't take into consideration that those other little things, you know, like will help out a lot later in the future when your business is growing and it becomes a more of established, like a solid, solid business, you know, in people's eyes. Can you take a minute and detail exactly what the Amazon Associate Program is and what an AdSense business is for someone who's unfamiliar with it? Yeah, sure. So AdSense is pretty much ads that you get from Google and you place them on your website. And whenever people browse the internet, they get a cookie on their computer for 24 hours. So whenever they click on ads, you pretty much make money from that. The Amazon program, Associates program, is <laughs> organic traffic comes from Google. And whenever they click on your website and they read, and then if they like what you're posting, they click on the Amazon link. And then they also get a cookie for 24 hours. So whatever they buy in general, you get a commission from that. So that's pretty much it. You said that your traffic is coming from or is coming organically from Google. Yeah, it's all organic. So you haven't tried to do any outside advertising at all? Nope, nothing. And you've still grown the business to where it is. Yep. So looking at the numbers, there's probably a, a really good opportunity to grow it even more if someone were to come in and take advantage of, you know, like you said before, email marketing, social media marketing, you know, whatever it may be. Do you agree? Yeah, for sure, man. No doubt. How many different countries are you currently uh, available to be found in? Uh, well, I was in the United States for the last majority of the year. Here in the last three months, going on four months now, I added UK and Canada links. And that's all I have now. But I mean, there's a lot of different countries that you can add to as well. The writer who is pushing out content for you when you need, is he interested in continuing to work for a new owner? Yeah, I already talked to him. He said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you'll, I'm, you know, just clarifying, you'll provide all that contact information for a new owner? Definitely. Do you see any risks associated with a business like this or this specific business in, in the, the niche and the products you recommend that a buyer should be aware of? Um, I don't really see any risk as of now. I mean, it all comes down to, you know, Google is the real boss. So unless they put out some kind of like Panda update, you know, a Penguin, and it can necessarily hurt some websites. But I mean, if you have solid SEO work and everything is solid, not sketchy, I'm a white hat guy, you know, you should be fine unless you start kind of playing gray hat SEO, you know, using PBNs and going really aggressive with it. 
he wouldn't be worried, man. I wouldn't be worried. Mm-hmm. Everything's been fine so far, you know, so I don't see it going anywhere for a long time. Will you share with the new owner, you said that you did a bunch of intricate SEO work and you'll detail exactly what you were doing and how they can keep doing it? Yeah, for sure, man. I'll teach them everything. I mean, if they don't know anything, uh, I mean, I, w- I would assume if someone's buying a business, you know, they would know a little bit about SEO in general. But if they want to go into more complicated stuff, yeah, I'd be more than happy to teach them because I really love SEO. And I'm honestly surprised that, you know, I fell in love with it so quick. And I was just I was kind of addicted to it, you know, for a while. And that's why I went all in with this business. It was really fun to build. Are there any special skills or requirements that are necessary for someone to run a business like this? Just basic SEO skills, you know, mm-hmm. for a beginner, but for a more advanced person, you know, they would already know what they're doing. So not really just basic SEO skills, man. So so basically, no. But if someone doesn't know SEO, you're willing to teach them. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I'll have fun doing it. I'm sure they'll have fun learning. So. so when a buyer comes in and it's time to make a deal, there are, you know, different things that you put into the deal. Like, would you be willing to commit to a non-compete? Yeah, of course. And in talking about being willing to teach them the SEO work and anything else, how much support are you willing to offer a buyer during a transition? I mean, I can honestly do as much help as they need. You know, I don't see a reason why not. Uh, I'm here free for about the next month or so. I'm going to be doing some traveling. But I mean, when I'm available, I'll be more than happy to teach them. I'm awake. I mean, 18 hours a day, you know. So whenever they need help, I'm always here for them. Obviously, what we're looking for here is that someone comes along and offers you a 100% cash offer of what you're looking for. But if that didn't happen, would you be open to negotiations about other payment methods? It just depends on the terms. But yes, I'm open to that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you'll obviously we're before anything is set in stone, it'll come down to the deal. But you're willing to negotiate? Yeah, for sure, man. Awesome. Well, thank you. I'm I'm sure that's settling for someone who's looking at this. I have one final question for you uh, today, Tom. Before we get to that, though, I have I, I want to run through the quick summary of the business again. It was built in August of 2016. Has a monthly revenue of three thousand four hundred and eighty nine dollars. Expenses of thirty five dollars to make for a net profit of three thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars, which is built on a nine month average. Included in the sale of this business are the domain, site content, and files and AdSense account. Tom. What is your best 30 second pitch on why someone should purchase this business? <laughs> All right, man, let's do this. So, like I said earlier, you know, if someone wants to just have some passive income, this is an amazing buy. If someone wants to make a lot more money than what it's making now, and I, would, I know it's capable of it, just building an email list, uh, having social media presence, just going aggressive with the content, and uh, you'll make a killing, man. That's about it, man. <laughs> yeah, it definitely <laughs> sounds like a business. Like you said, if you just want to sit back and relax and collect that $3,400 a month, it's going to take very little effort. But like you also said, there are plenty of opportunities to grow it even more. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, that passive check is nice, but if you want to make more, it's totally doable. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me and, and chatting about your business. I, I really wish you the best and hope that you find the perfect fit for you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. And if you want more information, the link will be below the video that will take you to this marketplace listing. If you're watching this on the listing site and want more information, become a depositor today. All you have to do is click the button, make a deposit, and you will be given everything you need to review this business. Have a great day. You too.